Let's cover everything you need to absolutely know to not completely get robbed in the dealership experience. So I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews and well, the whole JCCR team and its members, we are here to help. And tonight's topic is extremely important because very soon you're gonna need to put in an order at, with Ford or you need to convert an order. So this video is gonna cover what you need to know really before putting in your 2023 order and before those 2023 order banks open up. So this is must know information right now and we're gonna cover all the don't be fooled, you know, subjects so that you don't get, you know, robbed your vehicle even. And I'll talk more about that. Some people are even getting their vehicles robbed, not just robbed on price, but just, you know, carpet, the vehicle taken right away, right, right out from underneath their, their feet. So even though they're, they're, they're proper orders, we're also gonna be talking about conversions. So what are order banks? You might be asking, well, order banks are basically, you could think of it as the factories opening their doors and saying, dealers, give us your orders. We're opening up, we're taking in those orders. And well, some dealers have been creating waiting lists where clients, customers, buyers put their deposit so that they get a place in line. Some really nasty dealers have actually been overcharging people so that they can jump the line. That's a select few. I, mo the majority of dealers are actually really good. They offer good service and that they're fair. But there's a whole system so that we're, Ford is working very hard for things to stay fair. And we'll talk about that in the video as well. Now, with some dealers taking in deposits, for the last many months, they've got already huge lists. So you need to know that when those order banks open up, you need to already have this information. You need to be really prepared. I'm gonna show you how to be prepared. I'll also have, you'll wanna like and subscribe because I'm gonna have videos on you know how to build and price to make sure you get the right price when those 2023 20, prices come out. I'll also be talking about changes to the models uh, through the order guides that are gonna be coming out shortly. Now, you're not going to want to miss out on this video, so all you need to do is click that like button and share it with people that need to know this. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It does help feed a poodle. And well, let's get put the pedal to the metal so that you're not a victim of, you know, I won't call it highway robbery, but high vehicle price robbery or even just waiting for your vehicle and not getting it. And this is why I feel this video is so very important because I've had actually a couple viewers write in to me saying, for example, um, their vehicle and actually one I came across, I won't uh, mention their full name. Uh, I tried to contact them, but anyways, uh, let's say for example, a Michael. Well, there's one person even, and at this has happened to more than one person, but they they wait months and months, if not years for their Bronco. And when it shows up, they get told, the dealer just goes, don't know what you're talking about. They call up Ford. Ford says, well, we delivered it July you know, 13th to the dealer. They already have it. Go back to the dealer. Dealer still goes, not sure what you're talking about. And then you know, the buyer says, well, I could take this model here instead. And the dealer says, well, that one is 20K markup. So basically, I want you to be able to avoid markup so that this doesn't happen to you because this is pr almost certainly a situation where the dealer had two customer orders come in. They tell both people their vehicles aren't available, but you know, if you want, you've got this one over here, but you got to pay, you know, inventory price. And that's really rough. So this is step by step. I've got 10 easy steps to follow, but you need to know them so that when you get your vehicle, you get it at the right price and that your dealer actually orders it and orders it the correct way. And this now actually even applies to Canada. So the Canadian viewers, you're gonna wanna watch this because there's a whole new system to get being put in place and a lot of dealers aren't gonna have any idea what's going on, maybe for weeks or even months and some might just never, jump in and join in and think that they're a okay and they're not it will make it so that their clients really wait a very long time to get their vehicle so you know just because your dealer or the salesperson you're talking with seems trustworthy don't automatically trust your dealer thinking well they look trustworthy so i must be safe trust me trusting some dealers 
is about as safe as thinking you can get, safely get candy from that white van near a playground or that nice free unmarked taxi ride leaving from the airport. <laughs> Very bad news and some dealers are as bad as that and and a lot of dealers are very honest and are going to do things the right way. For example, Tim Bartz, Long MacArthur. Now, if you're in the United States, Long MacArthur can have a vehicle drop shipped to your area. So you can watch Tim's channel. You can contact that dealership. That would be my recommendation if you're in the States and your dealer doesn't correctly answer my 10 questions that you need to verify with them. So step one, don't be shy ask over the phone. I wouldn't waste my time going in person. I'd ask over the phone when booking your appointment, will you sign in writing that you will sell at the internet price and the internet interest rates of the month when the vehicle comes in? That's sort of like a minimum. That's you'll, you'll see because you know, they might be expecting to mark it up, sell it more. So step one, this is really where the negotiation goes on these days. It's more about shopping your dealer far more than shopping your model. So step one, ask them if you can get the price that's marked on the internet when your vehicle comes in, the price and the interest rate. Now step two, ask them, will you lock in the first available 2023 price and sign in writing that you will sell at that price? So now you're kind of trying to work a better deal because with inflation, if you wait six to six, seven, eight, nine, twelve 12 months for your vehicle, well, it's gonna be more expensive than when you first order it, when the 2023 prices are first available. So ask them if they will lock in that 2023 price. They can if they know how. And they've got their own steps to follow, which I'm gonna cover coming right up. Step three, do you ask them very clearly, don't be shy. Do you promise in writing there will be no dealer markup or mark, uh, market adjustment fee? So what is this? In case you're not familiar, you haven't shopped the vehicle in the last two years, well, vehicles are very scarce compared to the demand. The demand far outweighs the, 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 the number of vehicles being produced to the point where inventories, which used to... Uh, one point a lot of dealers had between one to three hundred vehicles on the lot some more some a little less but one to three hundred kind of ballparks it and now dealers have no inventory it's so bad that some dealers got into a whole process of kind of stealing orders you could say so two ways dealers some dealers have stolen orders they made up fake clients so that when the vehicle comes in, they can have it as inventory. And then once it's inventory, they can say, well, the market decides the price of this vehicle and it's five, 10, 15, 20,000 more. And if you think that's bad because you've heard of $20,000 markups on Fords, like the Ford Bronco, which is incredibly popular and I absolutely love it. Well, there's been some Mercedes that, you know, instead of 49,000 US, they're 149,000 US. If you want markup on a Porsche can be $100,000. So just keep in mind this, please don't just hate on Ford. This is a dealer problem. This has nothing to do with Porsche or heck, a Kia Telluride gets marked up and it was getting marked up before 2020. So before all the closures and all the problems that we had, so here's the thing, dealers can mark up their inventory. So some dealers were making up clients. Now Ford has what is called a COVP system, customer order verification process. It's gonna be very important that the dealer knows what that is, including Canadian dealers, and that they fill out all the, it's not paperwork now, it's all done on computer, but they need to send in paperwork. They, they need to know what they're doing. So there'll be questions about that, but basically some dealers were making up fake clients and other dealers were actually even marking up customers orders. You know, the story that I told you where a customer gets told, I don't know what you're talking about. Your vehicle's kind of been lost, but you know, here's this other one for 20,000. Well, that does happen at select dealers and at other dealers, they go, yes, that is your vehicle, but market, the market adjustment, 
based on what the market wants, they'll say, hey, look, this Bronco, you can drive off the lot and sell it yourself for 15,000 more. So why wouldn't we at least ask five, 10, 15, or 20,000 more for it when it's new? So they're at least selling at the price of a used model. Well, that's their justification. I don't agree with it. What I believe you order, you should order for, you know, a reward for your weight is getting it at the right price. So I'm gonna continue explaining what you need to do so that you get it at the right price. I want all of you getting your prices locked in so that you can save, well, really possibly tens of thousands of dollars or at least get your vehicle. So step three was, do you promise in writing there will be no dealer markup or market adjustment free fee? Have them say over the phone, yes, we will do that. We will put it in writing. Step four, very important. Ask what are your dealer fees? They might have no dealer fees. And if so, wow, fantastic. They might have $500. They might have $1,000 of dealer fees. So ask if they've got dealer fees, at least, you know, in advance what to expect and have them put it down in paper on paper signed by the director. Step five, do you require any services or accessories to be bought? For example, <laughs> with some of these vehicles, Bronco or Mercedes, whatever it may be, they might feel that you absolutely have to pay for this you know, special wax job that some dealers honestly may or may not even do, but might charge $1,500 for it, $2,000 for it. So some dealers say, you know what, you want a Bron Bronco or you want a Mercedes, you have to have a ceramic um, a ceramic coating on it and it's you know four thousand dollars well you need to know that in advance so know what accessories or services for example they might require that they might say you have to buy an extended warranty well whether it's legal, legal or not what's important is to know if they're gonna do it or not so that's step five now step six this is an important one ask them if they're choosing who gets built by order date or buy a fee. Some dealers are gonna be offering clients, pay an extra amount, we'll put you at the front of the list. Now, thankfully, I cover this in my, um, when I do lives and when I cover, you know, on the topic of, you know, what's, what's the scheduling plan, who's getting built. I do mention that some models, for example, for the longest time now, Bronco, dealers can't be messing around with that. Broncos and Mavericks, Ford is going by the date. Uh, they can't push it forward. Mind you, at first, when the Lightning was first announced and reservations could be t taken, even in my area, a uh, dealer a little further away, put it straight up on the internet, pay an extra 20 grand, we'll put you at the front of that list. So you need to find out how they're scheduling their orders. Now you're safe if it's a Maverick or Bronco, but they could still really mess it up and you could still be waiting a very long time if they don't do things on their end right and we'll talk about that in just a moment now step seven step seven it's a simple one and this has nothing to do with the dealer and completely to do with you please please don't wait and want and wish and think you're going to get one of these unbelievably popular models that they're just going to pop up on the dealer lots ford mavericks there's a, there there are waiting lists Ford Broncos, there are waiting lists. And the Lightning, there's an extreme waiting list that I could say if you order now, depending on the dealer, you're probably looking at about a year and a half to two years to get an F-150 Lightning. Unless you get real lucky, uh, but I'll get into that. A lot of that has to do with uh, paperwork and not choosing certain options, which I've covered in other videos. But they all have waiting lists. They're really popular models. The, it's not as if Ford's not building very many Mavericks, and it's not as if Ford's not building, isn't gonna build very many Lightnings. For 2023, their goal is to build 150,000 Lightnings. That's a whole lot of Lightnings, but the demand way outpaces and outmarks that. So please don't wait for one to be on the lot thinking it's just gonna magically happen. Like you could be the luckiest person and come across just the perfect Bronco for you and it just happens to be sitting there. But at that point, you know what? The dealer's probably gonna say, look, it's almost one of a kind and we're marking it up. But if you order, there shouldn't be markup. But if you leave the dealership space to do so, well, they might do so. So step eight, do not expect to buy someone else's place in line. Um, 
because people can't sell you their place and not line because of name match. So please don't have a last minute attitude because what name match is, it's Ford's fantastic attempt to stop dealers from making up people. And it's great. So let me tell you about name match. And this has everything to do with COVP as well, which is step nine. So name match basically Ford noticed that, hey, some dealers were making up clients and because they'd order in one name and their percentage was pretty high to not delivering to those people. So at first they said, you know what? You need a driver's license. You can't just put a name in the system. You've lost our trust. You need a driver's license. And then it was prove that you have a deposit. And then in the United States, it was prove that you have a signed offer signed by the person. So unless you're willing to commit fraud and sign someone's name, it was a signature from the person saying they're going to take possession of that vehicle. And now it's gone as far as with the lightning Ford is putting out in waves. So dealers can't be, Oh, dealers can't say, Oh, but it took two years for the lightning to show up. And while well, they changed their mind, no, it's last minute, like three to four months before you get your lightning, your dealer then is allowed to call you up and say, Hey, are you going to take it? If we order this, you got to take it. Like, you know, unless something drastic happens, we're taking a 500 or a thousand dollar deposit and you need to take the vehicle. We're taking the deposit to make sure you are serious and are taking this vehicle because you know what? Ford has set it up so that if dealers lose in the United States, more than 25% of the people they have ordered for, well, they miss a month's worth of allocations of VINs. So everyone at that dealer waits one extra month. And also that dealer, that month, it's gone. So if they were gonna get, let's say 100 vehicles that month, well, they could be looking at losing $300,000 for that month. They get caught a second time, not falling, losing more than 25% of their clients. Well, guess what? They lose, then they can lose three months. And then apparently if they get a caught, caught a third time, they can lose a year. Will it ever get that to that point? Well, we'll have to see, but that's, that's a story for a different day. So what I can say is these are the steps you need to do. I know traditionally a lot of consumers would sort of test their sales guy to, or salesperson to see if they're trustworthy by asking them questions they already know the answers to. Like, oh, how many kilowatts, do, kilowatts does the Mach E standard battery have? Well, how many kilowatts does the premium battery? And then, you know, if the salesperson answered correctly, they'd kind of be like, ha, huh, you know, I caught you. You must be, you know, you're bad at your job. You must be dishonest. I can't trust you. I'm not going to buy here. This is true for a lot of manufacturers, but at Ford specifically, there are so many models. There's like almost 30 models. And then within those models, well, there's sub models and there's different, so many different powertrains, different batteries, different powertrains, different electric motor sizes. So it can get a little bit of a mix up. What you want to really do is test, do the honesty test, the litmus test of whether this is a dealer you should buy at or you know, hang up the phone and call another dealer or just, you know, not lose any time. If your first one or two local dealers can't answer these questions and there's still two left, but if they can't answer these questions right, well, then you call up Long MacArthur. Uh, Tim Bartz's team will help you out. They do sell their vehicles at the right price when you order with them. And I, I applaud them for that. They're a good dealer that I can say that I put my, I'd put my trust in if I were in the United States. Now, Step nine, very important. Step nine is now true for Canada as well. And that's COVP. Ask the dealer, do you know what COVP is? So that's customer order verification procedure, meaning that the dealer needs to put your driver's license they need into the system with Ford. They need to put in your email. They need to show that signed offer. They need to show the deposit. They need to really go through this whole process to really prove to Ford you're a real person. And the problem is if they don't do that, well, then you're kind of, your order is basically like an inventory order. And the problem is that Ford's not building any inventory in Canada. They're not going to do, you know, there is going to be a split. So, so that, you know, dealers are being told that there's going to be a certain percentage that these orders, when they're put in with COVP, they will be date prioritized by date over the non-COVPs, but when production is low, 
it could mean that they mostly just feed the COVP. Also, COVP, the customer order order verification process is what allows the dealer to freeze that first initial 2023 price as long as you're getting a 2023 because I can't promise that carryovers will be frozen at the original price. That we will, I, I'll believe it and I'll give the news when I've got proof of it. So right now it's, you know, one group says this, another group says that, someone calls Ford customer service, they hear this, it's, it's hearsay. So I'm gonna wait until I actually see it getting done in IRL, in real life. So then I can definitely say this is, this is what's going down, this is the real deal. So I'm not gonna speculate on any of this. We'll wait and see. Then now the last step, step 10, pretty straightforward. Your dealer needs to give you an order sheet and they need to have the price, the interest rate, everything written down. They need to sign basically what's called a purchase or lease offer. And what's, you know, at first, like for example, right now at a Ford dealership, 2023 pricing isn't out. So you're gonna be, they can sign a 2022 offer but they'll probably should they sh on their end should write by hand this does not apply to a 2023 but what they should also write is we will honor the first available 2023 internet price both the msrp or suggested retail price as well uh, manufacturer manufacturers suggested retail price as well as the inter interest rate on the internet now you can also ask for a proof that ford has accepted that order so that's called a dora sheet um they they should be able to at least you know provide you a part of that and show you that you know here's your order code and this is what your order was it's been accepted by ford uh, there's other things that they could provide that will also show that their um that your order is actually in so that one that last step is probably it's it's the one that i'm more easy going on but you need to at least have all other nine steps completed because um, basically some dealers if you're not if you don't go in prepared basically go in with a chastity belt uh, with no no sign of any key uh, being you know <laughs> can that can be found some of them are gonna use and abuse so you need to follow these steps and i'm sorry to to say chastity belt because that was a medieval contraption that was actually horrible for for human health um but some dealers are actually also horrible for human health and i know this has been relatively negative and i do want to point out that some dealers are really fantastic uh and i think you know the dealerships good dealerships need to continue to exist and i've covered this in other videos ford is working to you know modify the contracts uh, modify how things are done by dealers because when a dealer works the way ford wants that dealer to work the way that ford pays for that for training for the employees it can be a really good experience where you learn a lot and you get served really well. Uh, I like getting served. Uh, I wouldn't want to go to the restaurant and make my own meal and bring it to the table. You know, <laughs> at that point, it's like, no, I, I, I want the service. I, I like even, it's cool, you know, you, gas stations that still have people at the pumps. Fantastic. Gives a summer student a, a job, a little extra income. You give them a little tip. They're happy. You get to know people in your community. I don't want everything to just go to you know robots and AI. So Ford's working on this. I've got videos about how Ford is separating the division between the gas-powered engines versus the electric motors, the Model E side versus Ford Blue. So I'll leave that for a whole other video. If you want more videos like this and you don't want to miss out, you want to make sure that you know you get the real deal and you get the best deal possible, you're going to want to like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Like I say, it does help at, help feed and dress that poodle, so I'll really appreciate it. And if you made it this far, please, in the comments, write finisher. Uh, it helps me know how my content's going. It also helps the channel actually grow because that's how the whole YouTube system works. The more comments that are in there, the more they'll think, hey, you know, maybe people need to hear this and they'll let it out. And I think 
I definitely know people need to hear this because I hear of people basically having their Broncos stolen from them from by the dealership. I hear of Mavericks, which last summer when I started up saying you need to do this and that, and I was talking about signed offers, signed purchase leases, uh, purchase offers and lease offers. I was talking all about this last summer and I got a lot of comments like, are you crazy, man? You know, the Mavericks meant to be inexpensive and that's its whole appeal. Like that will never happen. And I was talking about, you know, avoiding certain things like pretty much all the accessories. Um, but you know what? I don't mind taking a little bit of abuse from a few to help out the majority. So thank you so much for being part of the community watching this evening's video. I do really hope you get more cars and you do get to get more power pretty soon. Keep in mind, wait times are really long at a lot of places. Anything that's hybrid or electric, in most places it's two years plus. So, you know, the fact that I'll talk about Mach-E wait times, if a few people in the comments section say, yeah, I wanna hear about Mach-E wait times, you know, trim levels. Uh, battery size versus the wait time. I'd love to talk about that if there's an interest for it. Now, hopefully I'll have organized things if Marie and I are both feeling up to it. Hopefully there's a live that's gonna continue right after this episode. So look for that uh, because I wanna answer your questions and be as helpful as possible. In the meantime, take care and have a great night. Thank you for watching.